Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example on security camera recording. So let's look at the example first. Security camera recording. When motion is detected, a camera should start recording and continue for 25 seconds. With that, lights should also get turned with an interval of 2 seconds. So the motion will be detected by a sensor. So when a sensor detects any motion, the camera will start recording and it will record it for 25 seconds. And during that time, lights should blink. That is, the lights will be will turn on for 2 seconds then turn off for 2 seconds and then again turn on for 2 seconds and turn off for 2 seconds and it will repeat this for 25 seconds so in this example we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts we will also use memory bits and with that we will also use timers like TP that is pulse timer and we will be also using on delay timer that is T on. So let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for security camera recording. We will open eco structure machine expert basic. Firstly, I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. That results loading the application from the controller is unrestricted and downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if we keep it active, then we need to set a password here. And also for write protection, if I keep it active, then we have to set password here. Then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. And also downloading an application and modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That means we have to put the password during uploading, downloading and modifying the application. So for now, I will keep it inactive for both the cases. And then I will click on apply. After that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to configure a device. We have to select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers with different configurations. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16R by G by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configurations. So I want to replace it by TM221C24R. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. After that, I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMH to GDB and then I will click on apply. After that, I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for security camera recording. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. 
and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as sensor. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as camera. Yes. So when sensor gets activated, camera starts recording and it should record for 25 seconds. For this, I will use a timer here and that should be pulse timer, that is TP. I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 25 and then click on apply. So camera will start recording for 25 seconds. And also with that, we'll insert one more coil here and I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. So I will connect it like this. That means camera and M0 will be true for 25 seconds. Then I will add a new rung and here I will insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as M0. And then I will insert a coil here. And I will assign address to the coil as Q0.1. I will also add symbol to it as light. Yes. So when M0 gets activated, light will be on. So M0 will be activated for 25 seconds and also light will be on for 25 seconds. But the light should blink. That is, the light should be on for 2 seconds and then off for 2 seconds then again on for 2 seconds then again off for 2 seconds and it should repeat this process for 25 seconds only after that camera and light both should turn off so for this i will use a timer tp that will make the light on for 2 seconds so i will insert a function timer here and I will change it to TP that is pulse timer I will change time base to one second and preset value as two and then click on apply And then I will insert one more coil here and I will assign address to this coil as M1 which is a memory bit and we will use this memory bit to turn off to turn on the light again after two seconds. So to do this I will use one more time here and that should be T on. I will change time base to one second and preset value as two and then click on apply. Then I will connect it like this. Then I will use this battery bit here as normally close contact and I will assign address as M1 
and here we will use this light as normally close contact. Q 0 0.1. So when sensor gets activated, that is when the motion is detected by the sensor, camera will start recording for 25 seconds and also M0 gets activated for 25 seconds. So when M0 gets activated, the current will flow through it and light will turn on for 2 seconds. And after 2 seconds, that is when light gets turned off, the current will flow through it and after 2 seconds, M1 gets on. And as a result, the light will again turn on for 2 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. So when the motion is detected that is sensor gets activated, camera gets on for 25 seconds and in those 25 seconds light will blink with an interval of 2 seconds. 1, 2, off, 1, 2, on. 1, 2, off, 1, 2. And it will repeat this for 25 seconds. After 25 seconds, camera as well as light will turn off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.